Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to resume a step function invocation from a failed state in your state machine. And so previously, before this brand new feature was released, if you wanted to redrive your step function, you'd have to start from the beginning, the first step in your state machine, which in this case, if you attempted to do that, you would call the DynamoDB put item API again before you attempted to invoke your Lambda function again. Obviously that's undesirable because that can lead to a state where you have multiple items in your DynamoDB table when you only intended there to be one. Now the alternative, or at least the suggested alternative from AWS was to write this complicated code where you would redrive your state machine and it would kind of know to go down here and skip this step, which was complete nonsense and just very difficult for people to implement and actually apply in real life. And on top of that, one of the reasons that a lot of people wanted to go with something like Apache Airflow instead of step functions was because Airflow supports redriving at a particular task, whereas step functions did not. Now that is no longer the case. Step functions does now support redrive at a particular failed state. So let me show you how to do that. One small thing before we start, this feature is not to be confused with task retries, which are built-in reattempts of a task during its invocation. This feature allows you to redrive after all of your retries have been exhausted and your state machine is now in a failed state. As a best practice, you should still be using task retries in addition to this brand new feature. And so we're just in a step function state machine here with this failed state, as you can see. And so if you go to the top here, and this is typically what happens when you run a step function state machine with a failed state, you'll see an exception up here. So we're failing at Lambda invoke and the cause is, you know, this is a random exception. It's calling my Lambda function. And my Lambda function, it just returns an exception 50% of the time. So it's not doing anything special here. It's just for demonstration purposes. And so now what you can do instead of, you know, starting a brand new execution and then and doing put item followed by invoke, you can go to the recover tab over here, the recover button, and you can click on this and there's two options now. You can either redrive from failure, which will redrive from that Lambda invoke failed state for this particular invocation, or you can redrive the entire execution by starting a new execution. So let's try the redrive from failure here. And this is just gonna ask us for some confirmation details. So it's the state machine details, the execution name, state to redrive from. Uh, you can also open this in a new browser tab if you'd like. And you can see redrive will continue the same execution from the step at which it was terminated. This is important to note as well. Um, when we look at the execution history, you're gonna see some deviations from what you would normally expect to see, it's gonna be for this particular execution. And you're gonna see a brand new state that AWS Step Functions just introduced to show you how to track when these redrives actually occur. And so uh, if we go to redrive execution now, and hopefully this succeeds the second time. Okay, so this failed again. So this wasn't a good example. It's 50% of the time. Let's do it one more time. Uh, redrive from failure and then do that again. Hopefully it succeeds this time. There we go. Okay, so it's 50% of the time. It worked the second time. Uh, so you can see we did succeed on the second call here. And if we scroll down now and look at the execution history, you can kind of see what happened. And so first we had task started for Lambda Invoke. This is the first attempt, basically right here, these four items. And so Lambda Invoke started, uh, it failed, the execution failed, and you can see this task here. This is a brand new uh, state that just got introduced. Not a state, but a, a task history. And so it says execution redriven. So if you open this, you can see this is the redrive count, so the number of times you attempted to redrive it. And as you can see, we failed the second time here. Execution failed on the Lambda Invoke, and then I redrove it again. And then if you go here, you can see the redrive count is now two. And then after the second attempt here, here. Um, you can see started, Lambda Invoke, it started there, uh, it succeeded, the task state exited, and the execution succeeded as well. And so this is kind of what you would expect to see. Now a couple other small notes about this is that if you have older state machines with failures, so let me show you one for example. Uh, I have some old ones here. I think I have like some DynamoDB stuff. Yeah, so DynamoDB step function. I have some failures, as you can see here. These are ones that I created, you know, a couple months ago. If you go to this and um, you try to redrive, as you can see here, execution non-redrivable. So if you have uh, executions that were executed prior to this feature being released, which was in November of 2023, you're only going to be able to start from a new execution. You are not going to be able to redrive. Now, a second note that I wanted to show you before I let you go is that if you go into the state machine now, 
um, you're going to see that the state machine is now considered succeeded. If you left it as failed and you did not redrive it, it would show failed like these ones down here, which were ones that I was just testing with. But because we redrove the state and now it's in a success uh, or it got to the end state, it is now considered a success as well. And so this is just some additional notes to keep in mind when you're working with this feature. But I'm really, really happy to see this feature in step functions. It was one of the main reasons people chose Airflow over step functions. And this is really a move in the right direction. If you like this video, check out my other ones on step functions on my channel. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.